Hello, second grade. This is module five, lesson one. We're going to say the 10 way. So for example, for 126, to say the 10 way, we would say 100, two tens, six ones. Now you try. Say the tens way for 254. Did you say two hundreds, five tens, four ones? Great job. Now try 310. Did you say three hundreds and one tens? Excellent job. How about 505? Say the tens way. Did you say five hundreds and five ones? Great job. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. Okay, now I'm going to give you a number for every number that I give you. I want you to give me a, the number that is 10 more. So what is 10 more than 5? You say 15. Great job. How about 10 more than 10? Did you say 20? Excellent. How about 10 more than 36? Did you say 46? Great job. Now, for every number that I say, I want you to give me 10 less. Give me 10 less. So what is 10 less than 20? Did you say 10? Great. How about 10 less than 22? 12. How about 10 less than 78? Did you say 68? Great job, guys. Here's our application problem. When we're looking at our notes, our notes say to read the problem first for word problems. So let's go ahead, read the problem. The shelter rescued 27 kittens in June. In July, 11 kittens were rescued. In August, 40 more were rescued. We have two questions here. This is a two-step problem. So let's read the first question here. How many kittens did the shelter rescue during these three months? Second question is, if 64 of these kittens found homes by the end of August, how many still needed homes? Now our second step is to find any important numbers. What important numbers do you see here? We see 27, 11, and 40. Now, we need to find any important, uh, we need to underline any important words that would help us figure this out. Now, looking at the second question, if 64 of these kittens found homes by the end of August, how many still need homes. That is going to help us solve this question, the second question, by subtracting. We know that we need to subtract because these kittens still need to find homes. All right, let's go ahead and make our equation now. That's our next step. So for A, we know we need to add because we're adding all of the kittens together because it wants to know how many we the shelter rescued in all three months. So let's take 27 plus 11 plus 40, and we're going to add those all up. Go ahead and solve that on your own. Okay, let's compare answers. I added up the ones column first. So 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 0 more is 8. Now let's add up the tens column. Two plus one is three, plus four more is seven. Now let's go ahead and look at the bottom one. It said if 50, 64 of these kittens found homes, how many still needed homes? Well, we have 78 kittens all together. We found that out at the top number here. Now we need to subtract 
64 of those kittens because they found homes. Go ahead and solve that equation. Okay, let's compare answers. So let's subtract the ones place first. So eight minus four is four, and seven minus one, in, or sorry, seven minus six is one. So 14 kittens still needed to find homes. Okay, we have a pattern here. And the first thing I need to do when we're looking at these patterns as we need to figure out if these patterns are going, if the numbers are going up or if they're going down. So our pattern is 170, 180, 190, blank, blank, blank. So looking at these three numbers that we have, are these numbers going up or are they going down? Looks like they're going up. Very good. So now we need to figure out if they're going up by hundreds, tens, or ones. Looks like the tens place is going up. So we know that the tens place is what's going to change. So we're going to add 10 more to 190. After 190, what is our next number? 200. Now if we add 10 more to 200, we have 210. And if we add 10 more to 210, we have 220. Okay, here's our next one. Looks like we start with a number, then we have three blanks. And then we have two more numbers. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at all the numbers all together, even though they're not put together. We can see that these numbers are going, are they going up or are they going down? We started with 724 and we ended with 674. So are they going up or down? Right, they're going down. Numbers are going down. Now let's figure out how they're going down. Let's look at the hundreds place first. Looks like these two hundreds place, they changed. Now let's look at the number, the next one. Did they change? No, they didn't. So they're not going down by hundreds. Let's look at the ones place. Looks like they all are the same number. So the ones place isn't going down. So are they going down by tens? Looks like the tens place is changing. So they're going down by tens. Now we can figure this out. So what's 10 less than 724? 714. What's 10 less than 714? 704. And what's 10 less than 704? 694. Let's look at this last one. Are the numbers going up or down? Well, we started with three blanks here, so we need to look at the last three numbers. Are they going up or are they going down? Looks like the numbers are going down. Are they going down by hundreds, tens, or ones? Looks like the hundreds place are staying the same, and the ones place are staying the same. The tens place, however, is changing. So we know that they're going down by tens. Go ahead and solve these three blanks on your own. Okay, so what I did was I worked backwards. So we know that when we go from left to right, the numbers are going down. So if we go backwards from right to left, the numbers are going up. So 
to find out what's next or what's before 886, I'm going to go up by 10. So what is 10 more than 886? 896. And then I went up again by 10 to 906. And then I went up again to 916. Using the uh, patterns there, figuring out how to go up and down, we can you do what's called the number way or the arrow way to do addition problems. So to figure out what 210 plus 130 is, is I'm going to take 210, that's where I'm starting, and I'm going to see how many hundreds I need to add first. So I see I have a 100 here, so I'm going to add 100. So 210, 210 plus 100 would be 310. So we're just adding to the hundreds place. Do we have any more hundreds that we need to add? No. We do have some tens that we need to add. We have three tens that we need to add. So let's add 110 here. So 310 plus 10 is 320. Now we need to add another 10. So 320 plus 10 is 330. And we had three tens to add, so we have one, two, let's add one more tens here. 330 plus 10 is 340. So 310 plus 130 is 340. We can also use the hundreds or the arrow way to solve a missing added here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to start with our first number, 320, and we're going to add either hundreds or tens up to our number, our equal number, so 400. Can we add any hundreds? Well, if we add a hundred, then it's going to be 420. So that's going to be too much. So we know we need to add tens. So let's add tens until we get up to 400. So 320 plus 10, 330. Are we there at 400 yet? Nope, so let's add another 10. 330 plus 10 is 340. Still need to go. Add another 10. We get 350. Are we at 400 yet? Nope, let's keep adding. 350 plus 10 is 360. We need to keep adding. Let's add another 10. 360 plus 10 is 370. We're still not at 400, so let's add another 10. 370 plus 10 is 380. Still need to go up. Add another 10. 380 plus 10 is 390. Oh, we're almost there. Let's add one more 10. 390 plus 10 is 400. Now let's see how many 10s we needed to add. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I counted that we, eight, we added 8 10s. 8 tens equals 80. So 320 plus 80 equals 400. It's now your turn. Go ahead and log into Seesaw and do your exit ticket. Good luck.